The last week for KSU baseball has been a little bit of a tough one, but we're going to address that. We're going to talk about some other things coming up this week. Let's talk about what's happened recently, though. Being joined by head coach Rob Henry. And coach, <clears throat> the series going this past weekend against Miles, we talked about this, about this was going to be a tough battle for you guys. Right. It was a, a series against a West Division opponent that you're basically jockeying for position with and wanted to. Two games lost, 1-1, one, one. but the two games you lost, you were in the game, you lost by a run, and then heartbreak happened on Sunday. Talk, right. Walk me through that series. Okay. The uh, first game started off with Josh Dunn going against their number one, Austin Pate, and it wound up being a 3-1 to one game. They got uh, they got an early home run, and they had a lead that stood up. We got the go-ahead run on base uh, in the last inning, just couldn't get him in. Uh, so it was one of those games that could have gone either way. And then the second game, we, we were down four to three in the top of the seventh inning, and we came back, we scored two runs, um, you know, managed to put the game away. Joe Crisp did a great job on the mound and gave us a chance to win the series and going into Sunday. On Sunday, we, uh, we jumped out in front early, and then they jumped ahead, and it was kind of a back and forth game. We were up 10 to eight in the bottom of the ninth inning. Uh, they cut it to 10 to nine, had the tying run at second base and the winning run at the plate on a two, two count with one strike away from first place. And their kid drives it out of the yard for a two run home to walk off the game. So, you know, we went into the series down a game in first place. Now we're two games back with nine to go. But, you know, I, I don't think there's any doubt that Miles and, and our guys know that, that we're just as good as they are, that we can beat to win this division. And certainly, you know, credit to Miles, hats off to them. Uh, it was a great, well played series. It's going to be exciting to see those guys get in the conference tournament. And, who knows, we'll see what happens in the next nine games. We still may wind up being the number one seed or maybe the two or maybe even the three. Tuskegee's playing well now, so it's kind of a you know, kind of a mishmash heading into the final few weeks as far as who's gonna be those top three seeds. Make sure we keep a close eye on that. But coming off that miles mile series, you had Cedarville yesterday. Right. What came out of that game? Well, we didn't have any carryover at all. We came out hot. We got out to a six nothing lead early on. Che Butler was good on the mound. We had some big hits early on. And the problem that we had, and you and I have talked before about the balance being that, that emotional balance beam that you get on it. You know, coaches a lot of times fight their players being flat and not being motivated enough. Well, you know, you've got to be able to handle success as well as failure. And yesterday we got a little bit uh, loose in our approach emotionally. We, we kind of started to coach to the middle innings and allowed them to come back into the ball game. And when they did, we weren't able to stem the tide. So, you know, you've got to learn to be able to handle adversity as well as success. And we, we struggled with that yesterday, but it's a good lesson for us going into this weekend. Let's look at more of the positives right now. One of the big things that come out this week is for the first time this season, you had a player named Player of the Week right. in Cameron Starks. Now, Josh Dunn won Pitcher of the Week earlier right. in the season. This is the first time position player has got Player of the Week. And Cameron has been basically hammering the ball. In the Syracuse Mile College, he hit 545. On the season, he leads your team the lineup in 361. He's second on the team in RBIs. What is it about Cameron that is really this has been a great year for you. Right. The big thing that's helped Cam is we've settled in on a pretty set lineup about uh, two weeks on because we had Elijah Collins back in the lineup in the off spot. That kind of solidified our lineup and we're able to go through. Uh, we've got a really solid one through eight. So he's protected well in the lineup. He's got Jake Pillard in front of him. Jay runs well, gets on base, makes things happen. He's got Artie Santone behind him. Artie's been swinging it well all year long. So Cam is settled in nicely in that sixth spot. And he swings the bat well. He drives the ball with power. He's a tough guy to strike out. So, you know, all those things add up to him having a great year for us. The great thing about it is he's a redshirt freshman, so he's got three more years to go. Uh, and, and he's going he's gonna to really do a number on this conference for the next three years, I hope. I, I expect it. Looking forward to seeing that. Now, one thing that we're looking forward to seeing this weekend is a three-game home series right here in the capital city. You welcome Lane College in this weekend. What can we expect from that series? It's going to be a good competitive series. Lane has been a team that's traditionally been towards the bottom of the standings, but from everybody I've spoken to, they've been much more competitive. They've been uh, in ball games longer, and it's a team that can certainly do some damage to us if we don't come out and play our best. So, again, the lessons from yesterday, the lessons from this past weekend, you've got to play every out, got to play every pitch, and that's something we need to do to have some success this weekend. Well, looking forward to that. You can keep up with live updates on KYSU Baseball and also on Facebook and at KSUThoroughbreds.com. For Coach Rob Henry, I'm Eric Matthews. We'll see you this weekend here at the ballpark for the Thoroughbred Sports Network.